Hey everyone, so welcome back. I believe this is number 18, video number 18. So we're still looking at um, the head and how, how we're going to be um, drawing it. So we saw the front view of a male head and we also saw the front view of a female head and the difference that the, there, well, the difference between the two types of heads and how to make it look like a female head or, or a male head, but using the same general proportions. So at the moment, we're not looking at specific methods of how to draw the head, but more of the generally accepted um, um, proportions uh, using thirds and so forth. So later on, we will we'll look at um, later on we'll look at um, the Riley method, then we'll look at uh, Andrew Loomis method and so forth. And um, you can find whichever one you think uh, works best for you, and then you can use that. Um, in your portrait drawing, in your caricature drawing, or you know, if you want to better your better your drawings, if you're drawing comic books and you want to draw better faces and so forth, because I mean, artists are always studying. I'm studying every single day, and um, you know, even seasoned artists they still um, study. You know, more of the features, more about perspective, more about all those things. Which reminds me, you know, perspective is one of the fundamentals, but. Um, that's a whole topic in itself and it takes so long even figure drawing yeah, I mean you know figure drawing portrait drawing it's just a huge thing so I might do just a special series on portrait drawing but uh, that might be um, part of um, some tutorials that I might be offering um, at a price very small price but uh, yeah because these videos do take a while and they take a lot of, um, out of a lot a lot out of my time to do so yeah Okay, so um, the side view. So with the side view, basically what we're going to do is uh, we'll draw that circle again. Okay, have that. Draw the third. So we're using the same starting point as we did um, as we did with the same starting point as we did with the. with the front front view okay so this uh, frontal plane here that so what we're doing is we're looking that way okay so this plane in front that ha that that is the front of the face it's different for different people some people are slanted forwards some people are slanted backwards some are straight down i mean you know it really does depend but but generally there there is um some people are actually more curvy like that so what we want is just to have a slight curve to it and for it to come just a little bit inwards. So that's the, if you draw a straight line down, it would just sit inside just a bit like that. So that's the, that's the, what we'll be using. Okay. Now that you've drawn, um, the front, front plane of the face and it's coming out just a little bit, try not to make too much of a curve to it move it out just a little bit. Okay. Now that you've done that, the thing you have to remember when it comes to the human skull is it's actually wider in this area. So what you want to do is just bring it out, just to bring it out, like um, take that half, bring it out almost at that same quarter distance. Okay. Just like that. And bring it back in there. And so this is pretty close um, to to the general proportions of the human skull. So what we're going to do from here is we'll find the center line. Okay, so it'll the center will be about there. So if you measure that, it should should round about equal. So we'll move it just that way a bit. There we go. So that's the center line right there. Come down there. So with the jawline, the jawline comes just behind this. So this is the center line. So just behind it is where the where the jaw actually comes comes to. Now um, we'll go back and we'll uh, set in those um, measurements, right? That we learned from the front view. So we divide this circle into eights you know like we did before in the other one so that's this smaller circle 
So we take that mark across there. Or here it's already marked, so so that's where your hairline is. So you take that line down and you divide that hairline into three. One, two, three. I believe that's the third. Three. So take the bottom one. One, two, and three. So it's that one and that one. So that's the same measurements like from the front. Okay, so we're using those. So that's where your eyebrow line is. This is where your nose line is. Then we're dividing this line into thirds right there. So that's where the middle of the lip is. And remember, the middle of the lip is where the jaw turns. So we'll move this across, take that center line in there, and then we'll draw this line up to that line there. There, and then this one moves in at, at a slight angle. Okay, so we'll take that. Let's have it come in a bit, and then we'll chop it off right there. So now we know where to place the eyebrows, the top of the eyebrows there, the bottom of the nose, the part in the lips. Okay. So we're going to find where the eye sits and we learned that it's halfway down. Okay. So that's approximately halfway down. So we can measure that just to make sure. Halfway down. Yep. So that's where the eye, eye sits on that line. So then you have the... Okay. So I'll name it quickly. So that's the brow the eye, the nose, part, lip, and that's the chin. And so remember the ear sits be starts at where the eye line is, comes up, loops around, comes to where the nose is, which is really close to the bottom of the the skull. Right there. So that's where the ear sits. Because it's right at the bottom here where the jawline is, the the ear canal is in there. So when you're drawing all those different parts and stuff to the ear, it actually, it'll fit properly. So these measurements should take care of all that. So that's the side view. So that's for both the male and the female. And, you know, as I had said before, that's a, the way that you distinguish when you're drawing between a male and a female head is the size of the neck, the angular features will suggest the male and the smooth and more graceful will suggest the female and the chin and also with the male the lips you know mostly you just use a line and shadow you just shade it in okay but with the female you actually it's best to you know use the lines to kind of draw in the lips like that and it'll it, that looks more feminine also the eyes remember the eyelashes you know or a thick line to suggest eyelashes and also the nose they have us um, if you draw a smaller nose it just it's more feminine okay but the guys have huge you know huge noses with the bridges you know very angular and cut and so forth okay So, so that's that. So I'll just um, draw it in really quickly. So later I'll be showing you how to place the features in. But at the moment, um, we, I'll just draw it for now. Let's draw it really quickly. Don't have much time before the video stops. Okay, so that's a quick fill in of the features. Um, hope you're all enjoying the video move this a bit okay so probably less reflection okay so that's all good so over here is just a it just comes in a bit then the neck comes out that way okay okay have fun see you in the next video